You are now listening to the Collecting Weekly Podcast. Hey guys, my name is Zach. And I'm Dean. I'm Manny. And I'm Jesse. Welcome to this week's episode of Collecting Weekly. This is the weekly podcast where my friends and I talk about the things that matter the most to us in collecting. So we are on a bunch of new platforms. It's been uh, a hell of a ride this past week. Uh, Manny uh, has been really pushing me for uh, probably the last three episodes to start upgrading my equipment to match the quality potential of the podcast. So we have a new microphone. It's a Blue Yeti. It's a Blue Yeti. And uh, the uh, we've also got a new logo, thanks to Manny. It looks yeah. legit. It Thank looks you. legit. Thank you worked you. really hard on it. And Thank then you. you also helped me with um, getting the podcast onto iTunes. Yes. And once we got onto iTunes, it was really easy to get onto everything else. Uh, everything else. So we're also on Spotify. Um, which platform do you guys like to listen to the most? I'm an iTunes guy. iTunes. Uh, for work purposes, I mean, uh, I do YouTube because it's easy. Just type it in. YouTube. Really? Okay. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I, I've actually really enjoyed being on iTunes because um, everything that I have is, uh, you know, we told everyone to, to turn their phones off, but Dean didn't listen. But everything, Yo, everybody everything, here. everything, everything that I have is uh, Apple, so I can listen to it on my Apple TV, my yeah. phone, my iPad, yeah. uh, my laptop, and uh, it just works really well. I know a lot, I've had a lot of people that have been telling me, like, hey, uh, I really want to listen, but I only use Spotify, or I only use SoundCloud, or, you know, YouTube is just inconvenient. And uh, I don't think they have iTunes in Alabama. Yeah, right. They must not. Um, Sorry. So uh, we're on all kinds of different platforms, but being on all these platforms, we also have access to more metrics. Uh, so we have a few shout outs to give um, now that we can see who's listening. Because YouTube, you know, you just have like a broad performance and it just tells you like roughly how long people listen to and, uh, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm sure there's more analytics, but I can't seem to find them. Um, but it turns out that most of our listeners are in Houston, Texas, which makes no sense because I don't think I know anyone in Houston, Texas that listens to the podcast. Um, but over half of our listens to, are from Houston. Um, a, a good number of them are from San Antonio. And a huge chunk of them are across the pond to our friends in Sutton, England. Hell yeah. Really? So shout out to Sutton, England. Shout out. Hey. Uh, yeah. uh, God bless the queen. <laughs> uh, God bless Meghan Merkel. Oh my gosh. Um... But, yeah, it's pretty crazy. I mean, we're starting to get some good reach. Um, I was shocked when I saw the metrics that, that we were uh, being listened to over there. Um, but it's it's pretty cool. What do you guys think about that? It's equally surprising that Houston... That was... That's well, I mean, there's a lot of Houston yeah. collectors on the there's national Because there's group. some Houston statue collectors in our group. Yeah. Um, it's probably Slim Thug. But even the... <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> but even in the national groups, there's a lot of Houston collectors that uh-huh. I see. So... And you're always posting in, like, Tashi and... And uh, OSR. Yeah, yeah, so that's not... It's I not, guess it's not that, that surprising, surprising, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm going to take credit for all, all that, so... I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, this was a long time ago. Um, so I wanted to talk about how we all got involved with Collecting Weekly since uh, Jesse's here joining us for the first time on this podcast. First time. So... Ever. This is the first might time we're all meeting. Depending though. how yeah, well actually, I do. Right, right. <laughs> we might have to, to cut you from the show. Yeah. Um, but I started Collecting Weekly... Um, you know, about six months after I started collecting. And uh, we did, I think it was like a 10-show run. I think Sydney came on for one or two of yeah. them. Uh, you guys really liked it, um, but no one else seemed to I was it. always pushing for it because I drive at work. So I was like, dude, I like that I could just put on your show. Yeah. And, and I was just like, make it longer, make it longer, make it longer. Yeah, because it used to just be 15 minutes. Maybe. And then, you know, we got lucky a few times hit 25. I think those one half-hour episode... But in that first run, I became really discouraged because, you know, I appreciate that you guys were listening, but it got nowhere. It was just, uh, it was just on SoundCloud, and with SoundCloud's uh, limitations of the three-hour upload limit, I was deleting episodes to upload new ones. And, um, you know, so we stopped the first run. Uh, several months later, Manny uh, started a podcast, the DJ Manny podcast, and it really got me inspired to start it again because I, I heard how good your sounded and... And your podcast was more like, per- it wasn't really just toys. It was like your personal life, uh, yeah. some mixing because you're a DJ. Uh, Sydney's a DJ as well. And it really inspired me to make the podcast again. And same thing, like you would come on. This time we were hitting about 25 minutes on average, peaking into 30 here and there. Um, and again, after about 10, 12 episodes, I kind of fell off. And it became collecting weekly, then it was collecting monthly, then it was like collecting biweekly. And then it was like collecting quarterly. It was like really weird. It was very infrequent, and 
because of its infrequencies, uh, we didn't garner an audience. Uh, this third time, you had started sending me some memes. Uh, you were sending memes back and forth to get the show going again. Oh, and yeah, were, the guys on yeah, the couch. Yeah, the guys on the couch. They're all, like, uh, um, like just bored. And I was like, Colleague Think Weekly returns. And then they're all, they're all excited. excited. <laughs> and then uh, I Photoshopped you into the Clone Wars episode where it's like, we're just collecting weekly, sir. We're not, <laughs> yeah. we're expendable. And it's like, not to me. And I Photoshopped you in that. So I'll upload yeah. that into Google Drive and put the link in that in the comments. Uh, but Manny, how did you get involved? I know uh, in the past you had joined us for some episodes, but uh, do you want to get, talk about how you became involved in this latest run? Um, I just... Actually, have I ever been on Collecting Weekly, like, before all this? Because when you first started... I think you were on one episode, but I we, think it was we recorded DMZ. it for was the it DMZ, DMZ podcast. Yeah, yeah, and that's... I think that's... And I was on his also. channel. Yeah. Yes, yes, he yeah. yeah. was. I was as well. Yeah. Um, no, I just saw, you know, this thing had potential. I was like, you know what, let's, let me... I wouldn't say hop on board, because I've always been there. Just, yeah, yeah. I've always sure. been at the, the train. Chat, yeah. <laughs> in the train. You've been at the, the station. You just haven't been on the train. Yeah, so I was like, you know what, let's, let's hook this fool up with the new logo... And, uh, and yeah. you, you pushed me to get the new mic. and Which is um, legit. Yeah, it's so, so crispy. I yeah, it. it's so yeah. crispy. It's and beautiful, too. It, yeah, it, and, and it's a nice color, and it was the cheapest. It was only $80. Um, so this mic is really great, and I appreciate you for pushing me to get it because um, I know you're... And this might sound bad, but like you're you're pretty critical, and, and not in a bad way. Oh, but yes. like you were like... You're very... Uh, an audiophile, I guess might be the word. And you kept telling me, like, you know, I like the show, but, like, I feel like this could be better. And for me, my pushback was, like, you know, you could have the best equipment. You could have, like, a $10,000 podcast set up, but that doesn't mean you're going to have a yeah, podcast. Yeah. And vice versa. You could have the best podcast in the world and have this absolute garbage equipment. And for me, content's really important. But going back now that we had that one podcast where my wife joined in and listening to it, and then going back and listening to my library... Um, it is hard to listen to. Yeah, uh, it's, it's really it's hard, hard to listen to. <laughs> Episode one is garbage. <laughs> um, so I appreciate it. Uh, Jesse joined us this week. Uh, you sent me an email, and uh, did you want to talk about how how you came on? Came yeah, on I did. A, I shot you a, a message on Facebook, and I was listening, and I was like, I love these guys. And I was listening to this older stuff, but it was so short, and I was like, it's already over? No, what's the next one? And I, I ran out, so I was like, um, yeah. man, and I love... I mean, I talked to my wife about collecting, and she's into collecting too, but, I mean, she's sick of me talking about figures. Yeah. A lot of times she's like, well, I mean, what else mm -hmm. do you want to talk about? <laughs> so I'm like, all right, I got to find some buddies to talk about collecting and figures and all this stuff. And um, I just shot you an email, and, and I thought, you know, hey, if you ever need a second voice, uh, hit me up. And uh, here I am. Dude, I can't tell you how hard it is to record a podcast by yourself. It, it really is, yeah. 15 minutes in, you're like, uh... Yeah, so dude, that was the thing I, about collecting weekly is that it wasn't that I didn't have enough things to talk about and enough things that really interested me. But when you're doing it by yourself, there's no, you know, rat and tat. Like throwing it's, things off the wall. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you're just yeah. talking, and I really respect those podcasters that can do that. But for me, it's like, you know, I have my opinions on X, Y, Z, but it's like kind of boring just to hear one person's opinions because there's yeah. a lot of times dean that we agree but there's also a lot of times that we disagree yeah and are well, you know we vary slightly in opinion i was gonna say even sometimes when it's all of us and i'm like how long have we been recording and it's been like 30 minutes i'm like shit mm -hmm. like this is hard like yeah. it's not as easy as i thought it was gonna be yeah, yeah for um, sure so i can imagine it's even worse because i remember i was like zach make it longer make it longer you're like, like I'm, I'm literally I trying. literally can't <laughs> yeah um and and for me like people that influence this show um uh obviously there's adam savage he has a podcast it's called still untitled Dude, I uh, love adam savage. joe rogan's podcast uh, is really great tiger h3 h3 podcast oh dude tiger yeah. bandit you said tiger, tiger belly. belly tiger belly is a really good one that manny likes uh there's some youtube channels also got me started because my channel isn't just a podcast it's also right um a, a tutorial so this guy uh rafael Robledo jr uh does these really really great tutorials on you know, taking things that, you know, even they're, they're expensive, like a sideshow premium format statue, and just taking them to the next level with, like, paint or re-sculpting or fixing people's broken statues, and it's really inspiring. I think, uh, did he do one recently with, like, the Hulk? Yeah. I watched um, that one. With it the amazing. dental. That was uh, amazing. Yeah. Uh, Cosplay Chris is obviously, like, a big inspiration for me taking things that, like, aren't great to making them really great. I know Super cool. Jesse, oh, you man. talked to Chris. Yeah, uh, so me and Chris go back and forth. I mean, really from the Batman. I mean, we're both cosplayers. I mean, he's a major cosplayer, and I'm just an amateur. I have that one Batman thing. And I send him messages here and back and forth. Um, and I love him, but, I mean, 
my go to is Adam Savage. Watching that guy, just putting him on his one day build. Oh my god. Yeah. Background yeah. noise. And then you yeah. get inspired. And I'm like, I want to build something too. His one day builds are oh, amazing. Man. I just watched his on the. Um, where he took a piece of concept art and just made it. Yeah. Using like just old model kits. Oh, the styrene and then for he, the for the floating. Yeah, and then he went mm-hmm. into like the the Greeblies. How yeah. The Universal Greeble. They're Greeble. all from these different old sets and yeah. Yeah, they've like that. mastered them and you can find them on literal every Star Wars. Yeah, like in Star Wars ship, the Universal yeah. Greeble. Yeah. Yeah. Um Yeah, so there's lots of influences here uh, for the show. Uh, So let's get into the show now that we've kind of talked about our show, who we are, what we're inspired by. Um, New this week. So uh, Sydney mentioned that we do this segment pretty much every week. Might as well just make it official, an official segment. So we're calling it New This Week. Uh, For me, I picked up a six-scale Maximus head sculpt off of eBay. Yes. And I was very disappointed by it. Um, I sent... uh, I didn't send you the picture, Jesse, because uh, it was in our private group chat, but uh, Manny and Sydney had seen the before pictures, and they were just terrible. It looked like they casted the figure in resin, in a flesh-toned resin, painted on the eyes and the eyebrows and the hair, and then that was it. There was no depth to the skin. Uh, I repainted it and added like a little bit of uh, weathering to the skull. Oh, so that's the... That's the repainted, repainted yeah. Holy... All right, that's um, pretty cool. And I don't think it's amazing. Um, I definitely wouldn't say it's amazing. Same. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's it's a work in progress. And uh, from well, from the distance, like while I'm looking at it, it looks hot toys. Like I see it, and I'm like, that could be. I can wait from, till it gets in front of your nose. I'm yeah, yeah. Wait until you're. You know, uh, I'm gonna it's a that. total I'm gonna, Monet. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rip it. I'm Shout gonna rip out it Clueless. I'm taking it in my hands. But I mean, from here, it looks legit. I don't know what it looked like before. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so this is the before picture there. Oh, right, that's true. And then that's that's a different sculpt, but you can see. You're like, it wait, that's not... the that's the repaint. No, that's actually the repaint. <laughs> um, yeah, no, no, that's this the thing one is one. hideous. No, that's the repaint. <laughs> that's the one that I just did. Oh. Uh, so I also um, I haven't paid you yet, Sydney, but I know that we need an arrangement for uh, next month uh, for the Mark Forty Two. That's true. The, for the Prodigal Son has returned. Yes. And I'm literally. so excited. Uh, literally. Yeah, I got it from you. And then yeah, and then you mean you have this thing where we first dibs each other on things like that. Yeah. Um, but the diecast Mark Forty Two, which is the uh, suit from Iron Man Three, uh, which we'll talk a little bit more about later. But um, I always like that suit, just like the the trolling that that suit did in the movie, just like piece of shit that just didn't work. I really. I know you guys don't like that movie, but for I me, love it, that movie. it's, uh, I think it's it not be, one of the better MCUs, but it's a it's a totally viewable film. It would be an infinitely better movie without the kid in it. Actually, that's my favorite part. It's it's the kid's awesome. I, I would say it'd be an infinitely better movie at the end, when the armor's coming at the end to save him. If it actually saved him, and then he kicked uh, Killigan's ass with the armor... To me, that but like the fact that it just like does it, and then like he's like, okay, well, just Self whatever, yeah. Self. But other than that, uh, it's it's one of my favorite aesthetic armor. Aesthetic yeah, it's things. beautiful. Yeah, with the gold, it looks yeah, it looks pretty great. Is that your favorite yeah. all time favorite? Yeah. Armor, not the armor. movie. Yeah, the armor. For me, the Mark Forty Two. I think I'm gonna have to go with what's the one on Civil War? Mark Fifty. Oh, Mark Forty Six. I think that's my favorite. The 46. What about I, like, I like the Homecoming one. I wish I picked up the deck. The 47. Oh, the, it has like silver on it? Yeah. Man, oh, that one sold it's so the 46 clean. with the different paint job, right? Yeah, it's just yeah. a re, yeah, repaint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess like new functionality where you can go in that. Uh, yeah, I wish I had a Mark 46. Mark 50 is pretty clean though too. Yeah. I have that one on pre-order. Pretty excited. Does it come with a head sculpt? Yeah. Yes. Damn. So Sydney, <laughs> I, uh, I know you got soon. some new stuff. Uh, some updates from last week. Yeah, mainly just Dragon Stars. So I finally got my Samasu Fusion build a figure. And what was the bonus figure that you got? The bonus figure? Oh, the guy took dude, to I was so disappointed. I was like, <laughs> you fucking asshole. What was it? Sorry <laughs> for the swear. It was like, um, it's like something you get out of a vending machine. Oh, uh, it's so like I a, thought it was gonna be a Dragon Star. No, it was a, it was a Goku, but like. Literally, like, one of those, like, things you put in, like, $2 and yeah. get out of a little bubble. Like a zoo cam. I was yeah. so mad. Um, <laughs> but how do you like the, uh, the Build-A-Figure? Uh, I'm glad I didn't spend $90 on it. Um, I'm a little disappointed I spent 65 on it, but uh-huh. that's literally the cheapest I'll get it. Yeah. Um, but it's a really cool character, and I don't see... Um, Is that the way it's supposed to look? Yeah. I don't see figure arts making that guy I'm anytime sorry. soon. I don't I don't watch it so I am. Yeah, yeah. So um, there's two characters, Goku Black and Zamasu, and 
for whatever reason, they want to kill everybody, and so they fuse to defeat Goku and Vegeta. Mm-hmm. But, uh, I mean, I'm not going to get into the whole story, but right. anyway. Three hours later. <laughs> yeah, but that's what he looks like. He, he gets all, like, crazy with the big arm. Uh-huh. And then uh, I was like, well, I really want uh, Vegito because he fights Vegito that way. Uh-huh. And my buddy was like, hey, I have a Vegito. I really only wanted the bath piece. Uh-huh. So I'll sell you Vegito for 10 bucks." Damn. So I got the Vegito for 10 bucks. That looks and sick. It's pretty cool. And like I was saying earlier, the the Vegito SH figure arts is an exclusive, so he's like 120, 130 bucks. Uh-huh. And I'm just not gonna spend that kind of money on a six inch figure. Yeah. Um, so this is a perfect stand in, so I'm happy with it. Is it true that the uh, Dragon Ball Z names come from fruit? Like yeah. they're inspired by fruit? Like Vegeta, vegetable, uh, Kakarot, carrot. Yeah, there's. Oh, it's like right. a, it's like name oh. puns. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, the only thing fact, I know about. There's, there's, like a, there's a whole new group of characters. Uh, Kale. Oh yeah. Really? Uh, yeah, Kale. Uh, <laughs> He's probably. The I believe it's just one. the Saiyan names or puns. Yeah, I think it's the Saiyan. Oregon. Yeah, because those are all Saiyans. Yeah. Um, I forgot. There's like two girls, and they all have like cabbage names or something. Yeah. Um, I want to be the grapefruit. Or what is it? What's the eggplant? Never mind. I don't know. <laughs> Continue. But do you know that that's surgery on a grape? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, so, um, Manny, did you pick up anything new this week? No. I know you got that pop. Oh, yeah. The Darth Vader pop with the, uh, with the candy, candy cane. cane. It's pretty cool. I got it for like 10 bucks or something. How's that, bad? Uh, and I just put the... Uh, if you go to Bed Bath and... No, no, no. I'm sorry. A Bath and Body Works. And you get... They have like a, a Santa hat that fits the... Uh, Fits the, uh, what do you call it? Hand sanitizers? Mm-hmm. Oh, you just yeah. slip it in there. If you get one of those, it fits like the Darth Vader dome perfectly. The pop dome. So, yeah. Or the Hot Toys. Yeah, because it's so. pretty wide. Yeah. And not bad. Not yeah, bad. it's pretty cool. So, and it's too. only a dollar. So, if yeah. You, if you guys want to do that. Other than Christmas gifts, I didn't pick up anything I can reveal. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So, nice. I also gave you guys each a six scale uh, Santa hat. These are, these are more for uh, normal sculpts. Yeah, so it obviously wouldn't fit on a Darth Vader, but yeah. uh, hopefully you guys enjoy those Thank you and you uh, yeah, I love take it. good pictures with them. Oh, yeah. Now the first thing that I wanted to talk about today that's new, um, not necessarily new, but the things that have been releasing that we haven't talked about, right. the uh, Thanos 1 to 1 gauntlet. Oh, what do you guys think about that? I'll let Jesse take the floor first. So I I collect a lot of 1 to 1 scale uh, next to my 1 6 scale, so I'm like a huge 1 to 1 scale uh, collector guy, or into it, and... I want this thing. I want it. I don't know how I'm gonna pay for it, but I want it. Flex you can wear it. Yeah, flex play. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to plan a wedding, so and so I gotta cut back on a lot of like Dude, things. Imagine, you can save the wedding expense. There you go. You can wear, wear it. it. Just wear it. Yeah. Wear it off exactly. your taxes. Um, so, yeah, I think it's the paint looks great compared to the tortoise one. Like I, I don't know, I love it. I think it's the, awesome. Uh, tortoise one. Tortoise. Uh, t- t- oh, oh, it's a different Legends? company. It's a different company. Oh, never mind. Um, sorry. Yeah, so Hot Toys makes the one-to-one scale. It's fucking beautiful. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. So um, I know you sent me a review to watch earlier of the one-to-one scale. And in the video that I watched, a guy owned the quarter scale gauntlet also. And the golds were, like, totally different. One, which was the, the full scale one, the $930 one, it's more like a champagne mm-hmm. and uh, gold. And then the quarter scale is more like a yellow gold. Do you know which color is more accurate, or do you prefer one or the other? I mean, they both look beautiful, but when you put them next to each other, it was like, oh shit, like these yeah. are the night, same company. And and these look night and day different. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I mean, unless I had both of them, and then I was like, I like this one better. No. Yeah. I mean, uh, there's. And no then the guy in that video, the guys was damaged. I was like, oh my god, Jesus Christ. Uh, there's, I don't know if you guys heard the podcast with the Russo brothers. It was like a YouTube video, and they were like talking about the movie and stuff. This was like recently, like last week. Yeah. Well, they had the Hot Toys, the One One Gauntlet. On display also, and they pointed out that I guess the Soul Stone was inaccurate. It was too big on the Hot Toys, so that's on the one to one. Yeah, Damn, yeah. Look at there's a YouTube. Sucks. Yeah, it's like a YouTube video. Uh, I was also watching a review on the one to one, and the lights in the Hasbro Legends is brighter than. Oh, that's really that's yeah. awful. The video that I watched, I don't know. I don't think I watched the same one as y'all, but. Uh, can you close the fist? Because I don't no, like the way it's open. I don't like the way it's open. It, there's just a big bar in the middle of it that uh, you grab. You oh, I see, I see. Okay. So you've owned the... Manny, you've owned the... Um, Marvel Legends. Oh, I was going to say Black Series. The Marvel Legends one. Yeah. And did you like it? I mean, 
I know you yeah. got rid of it, but it was just—it was too big to display. I think is what you. Were yeah, saying. it was just on top of my shelf. We have bookshelves, and it was just on top, and uh huh, it was just too big. And I really want one. Are they still thirty dollars? I think I saw one. No, I can get dude. you one for cheap. But... <laughs> right. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, you know, it—it's a massive thing. I know a lot of people were surprised with the size of it. Like, you know, I thought the Marvel Legends one was huge, and then seeing people like. Unbox the yeah yeah it's like, a it's like twenty too pounds small. of just yeah yeah resin or polystyrene. yeah I saw this dude that was like a didn't he massive did, didn't one dude like drop his or something and like just shattered everyone oh I've seen yeah I've seen that one on Facebook Oof. so uh, the in game trailer has um, has debuted my, my knees knee. got weak my again, knees chronic again. knee issues <laughs> you guys liked it dude I loved it. I thought it was pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, it gave me just enough. Like, I mean, I don't need it yeah. anymore. I mean, I'm gonna go watch it anyways. Don't give me any more, but... Right, like, it, yeah. this is a movie that you don't really need to sell to anyone. Yeah. So I hope, and, and you know you're gonna get a lot of trailers, so I hope that they they don't show too much. Um, what do you think about it, Sydney? I'm pumped, man. Yeah. I'm so stoked. I love the part where he's, like, telling, like, the Iron Man mask, like, I'm a, I dream about, but it's like Pepper Potts, but it's like that... Yeah. symbolism like that it's like or whatever Dude. symbolic where it's like how it's always been you but he's telling that to the Iron Man man oh man yeah. it's hard I'm like I'm getting goosebumps yeah oh, it looks so good it's like how are they going to defeat Thanos and Ant-Man's back and uh, I, I don't know how he got out of the uh, the quantum quantum realm. The quantum realm. Yeah. yeah. And when did Cap shave his beard? Like what? At what point was he? And like, back with the stealth suit. <laughs> I know. Yeah, so the suit. stealth suit value of the Hot Toys is going bananas <laughs> it's right crazy. now. Crazy. It is. It's and it's funny because there's people that suit. I saw sell it last week that are like <laughs> regretting <laughs> selling it for. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's literally my least favorite suit too. Yeah. I don't think it's cool. I don't. I don't have a single cap. Me neither. Uh, I might MC- pick this one up. The only MCU character I have is um, Spider Man. Um, but did you guys know that they sh- they filmed both movies together at yeah. the same time? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So they've been finished finished with the filming and stuff. So. Oh wow! So that means they have no excuse to not nail the special effects. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Captain Marvel trailer uh, came up. Um, I really liked it. I know nothing about Captain Marvel. I know nothing yeah, about I, like anything in the scrolls or anything. I have no expectations. Samuel Jackson looks damn good as he hung Nick Fury. I mean, like it looks like it's a pretty solid movie. It comes out in March. Um, the month before or February. I think, it comes out I think March. it's March. Yeah, because oh. uh, one of our local comic stores is doing a, a private screening yeah, on the day okay. it comes out, and it's because I thought it was. I think it's like March sixth. January, February, March, and then April. And then, it's usually how the calendar goes. And then out. Far From Home comes out just a little bit after. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's another thing that like I don't want to spoil anything, but like. You know these characters are coming back. Like you know yeah. they're gonna. Be I think that's kind of like why Unless I want to watch prequels. it. Like oh, he comes back, but how? Unless they're yeah. prequels. That's, yeah, it could be a prequel. <laughs> Have you seen know. the new Spider-Man suit, the black one? Yeah, the still the movie. It uh, looks. It just, looks terrible. It looks just like the Homecoming suit, just black. where it was blue, yeah. it was black down and some fingers. Yeah, it's not. I'm not like blown away by it. I also, but I bet you can like articulate that figure and no problem. Hopefully, not like Iron hopefully. Marshall Correct me if I'm wrong. We'll talk about that next yeah. week. Going back to uh, Captain Marvel, I believe Captain Marvel was originally Shazam. Then something happened. Well, Shazam is from DC. Yeah, I know, oh, but look it up. Shaq is a genie. <laughs> 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 no, yeah, look it up. Shazam was Captain Marvel, I believe. You mean the character became Captain Marvel, or they were supposed to make? I guess it was like copyright reasons. So DC had owned Captain Marvel, like the name, because I mean it's it's weird that he that they changed it to Shazam because he says that and he transforms into that, so it makes no sense for him to be like, yeah, my name's Shazam. He'd be freaking okay transforming every five times. It says here, this is according to Wikipedia. It says Captain Marvel, also known as Shazam, is a fictional comic book uh, superhero appearing in uh, DC Comics. I don't know what happened there, but yeah. Yeah, so they were going back and forth with the with the rights, and I think DC was like, "All right, fine, have it." Yeah. But I wish they didn't do that because I mean, it makes no sense that his they change his. I just I don't know. I never liked that. I really want to see Shazam be, though. I want to see. He looks. It fun. looks super funny. It looks yeah, fun. It looks pretty. When's that come out? Christmas time, I think. Oh heck next, yeah! So right? no, next year. Oh. Yeah, it's not this. Oh, no, never mind. But in the movie, it's like Christmas time. My bad. I don't know why I confused that. Dang. Uh, yeah, I'll it look might be like a Christmas movie. Yeah. It's like Christmas lights and some of the scenes in there. Um, so we argued about this the other day uh, when I was talking about Iron Man 3. Uh, 
me and Sydney and Manny. Um, but we were talking about our favorite MCU films. April and... 5th. Sorry. April 5th, 2019. Oh, okay. That's not bad. For yeah, what? that's not Christmas. That Shazam. Not... Shazam. <laughs> You're right. All the DC movies. April's okay. going to be so packed. I'm sorry. Please go ahead. Uh, favorite MCU films. My Mine was Iron Man 1, which I think was the first MCU film I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Jesse, what about you? I always go based off of um, whatever's recent in my memory. So Thor Ragnarok was such a fun movie for me. Dude, Dude so. Thor Ragnarok was so good. Pretty flawless. Man. I'm gonna have to say Captain America: The Winter Soldier. I'm, that blows me away. It's honestly, just a good, good I'm not movie. saying it's not good. I just like I if someone was like bet me money, I wouldn't <laughs> have said that ever. And then if I guess if I want to take that one away, I'm gonna say Infinity War. Sydney. It's hard to beat Infinity War, but you can't have any of these movies without the first Iron Man. Yes. And that movie still holds it's up. That movie's a good. fucking thing. It's just the, the awesome, soundtrack, dude. like when he's in the Humvee and he's like, alright, don't post this on yeah. my space. I'm like dated much, but okay. He's like 30 fingers up or right It's yeah. just oh, good. No gang signs, please. He's like, no, no, but the peace sign's cool. Because there are some <laughs> movies where I'll go back and watch it. I'm like, okay, like let's get let's get this up. It was so grounded too. Like the suit doesn't look like it looks like it's there and there's just enough suit where it's not overpowered. Powering, yeah, and that it still leaves you like Is wanting a little more, yeah. Because mm-hmm. um, there's like, I don't know, like, I always have this problem with like, um, I, I don't know how you like, like, Judge Dredd or Robocop where they like lose the helmet, and it's like, I just want to see him with the helmet on, like. Why do you have to take take away the mask or whatever? Yeah. But in Iron Man, it's just enough that you're just like, this was awesome. But that movie is also guilty of it, too. When he starts fighting at the end, Yeah. he loses the top of his helmet. Yeah. But it's just... Ugh, I, I want movie. that Mark one, man. If they release a, like, a diecast 2.0, I need one. Oh, that'd be one. tight. I need one. That'd be pretty dope. Uh, so Sydney messaged me this week and told me that he had a Christmas gift that he was bringing for me today. Yes. And we're going to reveal it live on the yeah, air. Yeah, right now. So it's a three three parts. They're, three part they're unrelated. They're just cool things I wanted to oh, okay. do. <laughs> All uh, right, so. One of which shipped today, so you're not going to get it, but I will show you a picture. I will do that one last because I think okay. it's cool. Wait, so I'm getting, all, I'm getting two gifts now in the picture. Yeah. Oh, shit. I thought I was just getting one gift. No, no, no. Two gifts now. Bonus gift. This one, you've been after for a while, and I found it a long time ago. Should I close my eyes? No, no, no. But it's a pair of the new one. It's the Dr. Afra. No, I know you've been after that, and I found one for me a long time ago, and Uh then I went back and found the second one. Shout out to H-E-B. Oh, my gosh. Dr. Afra, Like, such a cool character, beautiful art. I might have to get rid of my Thrawn. Uh, The carded version, the... I think it's like the Power of the Jedi one yeah, for yeah. this because it makes more sense to have this on the Vader shelf. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that so that was amazing. pretty cool. And this one is a combination of two of your favorite characters. And I was like, I have to get this for me okay. or for uh, Zach. It's a Disney Park exclusive. Is it Gotenks? No. <gasps> uh, what the f- I didn't know it existed. I didn't even know this existed. I didn't either. I found it I'm on. Sure we peaked hard right there, but. <laughs> <laughs> I found it on the app Mercari what and I was like, hell? oh my god. So I went to eBay. And scoured uh, for a, a decently priced what? one, so... Oh my god, I love Stitch. <laughs> I love Yoda. Stitch is like your favorite Disney character. It really is. And then Yoda. Oh my gosh, this is... This is touching. So I was like, Who I would need, get the, the goofy I, Jar Jar, though? But oh my gosh, this is... They also have one that's it's Stitch as Grievous, but it's like $80. Oh. But that one's pretty cool. Yeah, the, no, this is perfect. Yeah. Uh, we'll post a video of the live unboxing on our YouTube channel. Uh, Jesse's taking a video here, but thank you so much. That's really awesome. Yeah, and then I have your other one right here. Oh my here. god, your picture too. I was, I was, oh, yeah. I was content with that. <laughs> right. I've already stopped recording. All right, we're back on. Okay. <laughs> uh, not watching, purchased. You can see how much it is. It's not a big deal. This is kind of afterthought. Oh, you bought the dildo after all? Yeah. The one six. <laughs> um, the, it's a what Thanos. It? Oh! Oh, yeah. So this is just a little character figure, but you love. You're an Xbox guy. You're like oh my, my only God. Xbox friend. And this little Dude, ODST this is guy. awesome. So yeah, when you played on the 360, there's that little. Uh, yeah, it's an ODST desktop figure. Yeah, Dude, so, that is fucking sick. Oh my yeah. god, that's badass. So that should be here, uh, I guess, sometime this. Dude, week. I'm shocked. I was like, when I mean, you kept telling me like, oh, like this is gonna be so great. Like I was like, not that I was doubting you, but I was like, you were so hyped about it. I was like, oh my gosh, like. Because you kept telling me, like, there's no gift I'm going to give you that's going to be, like, anywhere in your business. Yeah, so for this those who don't know or haven't been keeping up, um, Zach got me 
a Ron Swanson head sculpt for Christmas. And it was one of those figures where we needed a lot of input on it. And so he had to give it to me a long time ago. Yeah, because it's not something that if I gave it to you, like, like Manny's gift, I'm going to give it to him, like, like the Sunday before Christmas or, you know, something like that. Right. And, and hopefully he'll like it. But, you know, it, this <laughs> gift was something that, like, you know, to paint a head sculpt can take an amount of time to assemble yeah. a body, to get an outfit together. Right. Fit it. And then even then we had three weeks of working on it. Of like yeah. There adjusting was, the height, adjusting right. the fit. So he gave me this in my gift a long time ago, and it's on my top shelf at home. And I was telling him, like, one, you'll never, ever be able to outdo this gift. Like, it's just so perfect. And, like... We mentioned the character, right? I'm sorry. Yeah, like, Ron, I'm still Ron thinking Ron about what you just showed me. Ron Swanson. And, like, if you know me and how much I love that show, like, it's literally the perfect gift. And I was like, nothing you ever do can outdo this, and nothing I can get you will ever make up for how amazing that gift yeah, was. Because you've had a Johnny Karate for a while that was just kind of by himself. I don't think you ever thought of selling it, but it was something that you were always kind of like bummed about that it was just there, right? Um, but man, that is that's pretty dope, dude. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so moving on to figures, uh, first impressions: the Hannibal from Silence of the Lambs uh, came up. I sent you guys the pictures in our messenger chat, and. Um, it's I think it looks pretty bad. It's not good. Um, now, I will say, obviously, this is the first pictures... What, what company is this? Uh, Blitzway, I believe. Okay. And uh, I'll confirm that, but it just... It looks soft, the sculpt. It uh, The paint apps just don't, don't look great. The eyes don't look great. And, and I'm, like, I'm one that can't paint eyes. That's like so a final product. That's a final product. Wow. Um, now, I will say credit where credit's due. I love the idea that they had with the arms. They're... I don't think they're movable. I think they attach somewhere near the shoulder, but they give you like three pairs of arms for different posing. So like mm. the classic, you know, ha uh, hand clasping pose. Oh, that's not terrible. But the the thing that I think would be really cool is if Hot Toys revisited figures like uh, Tony Stark Test Armor version, which are totally ruined by the elbow articulation because of the shirt design. Yeah. Um, I would love to see that. I mean, that would be really awesome. But you know, I think a lot of people say like, oh, what's well, the first picture? It's cell phone picture quality. This was something even people were arguing about last week. But with the tech Batman, right? People with were... the tech Batman. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, we'll talk about that figure here in a second. But at what point... I mean, you have to think, like, the people that buy these figures, more likely than not, are doing pretty well. So they're not, you know, rocking shitty cell phones. These, you know, I've seen some beautiful 6 scale photography like Manny does with an iPhone. Thank you. Really good. And, really good. Thank you. Um, yeah, you know picks this, by Manny. This, picks by yeah, picks by Manny. P I X by Manny. And at some point, it's like, when do you stop blaming bad picks? Because all these cameras are really good, and you know the whole thing is like, you know, a prof obviously a professional photo is going to look better than an amateur photo because yeah. it's going to go through post production and editing and the like. But but I would argue like even if you have like a great figure and you just take a picture of it really fast, like yeah. it's going to look crap. You'll be able so, to. Yeah. It depends on the posing and the futzing, but. I mean, just a straight up shot of the head. Like, I was just not impressed. Like, but I mean, I could, you guys saw the pictures. I could drive. It's soft. It's really I could soft. drive home, find a, find my Mark V on the shelf, take a quick picture of it, and it still looks good. Like, mm -hmm. if it's a good figure, it's gonna look good. Yeah, regardless. Regardless. So it's kind of. So I, I, I don't, don't have faith in people taking pictures. <laughs> so I'm gonna chalk it up to that. I so I guess we're split on this one, but yeah. it just did uh, not look good. And I don't remember the brand, but Rick Sollers is in our group. Shout out Rick. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw him at the last toy show we were uh, when we had. Which one was that? Was that Ekman's? Ekman's. And he was like, "Hey, look at this." I don't know why he showed it to me, but it was a Silence of the Lambs Hannibal, uh -huh. and on the cover of the box, it looks very cartoony. Mm -hmm. Like very, where I was like, this looks silly. Like, mm -hmm. it almost looks like a a caricature of the character. Uh -huh. But he was like, but the actual figure looks a lot better. So he opened up the package and showed it to me, and I was like, oh damn, this actually looks really good. Mm -hmm. So when you sent me that picture, I was kind of thinking of that one, and mm -hmm. it looks. It looks terrible. Now, do you guys think a repaint would help that head sculpt? Like, oh, yeah, absolutely. I think the sculpt is So you think the sculpt is there? Is there. It just looks just like really soft. Really bad. Um, and what's weird is Blitzway, like their Tyler Durden from Fight Club, and then their Ghostbusters all look really good. So yeah. maybe I guess it could be bad photos, but it's like 
This would have to be like one of the best bad photos. Like, like this would be like a Hall of Fame tier bad photo because the pre-order pictures looked incredible. Right. Like they list. Oh my god, dude! And I had mentioned to y'all, to you guys before uh, when we we're talking about this earlier. Hot Toys has really, really spoiled us because ten years ago this figure would have been amazing. Yeah, we, we would have been shitting our pants. Oh yeah, big yeah. time. And yeah, yeah, I know. I totally agree. I don't know if it's Hot Toys specifically, but the artist they hire. What's that new thing? J C Hung or something? Yeah, J C Hung is one of theirs. In the past, they've had K A Kim. She's freelance now. I'm yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, not every artist they have is on retainer. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. who's available. Mm-hmm. Um, Killmonger head sculpt got, uh, I guess, no, I wouldn't say, t- uh, I guess, shown today for the yeah. first time. Um, oh my god. I know yeah. you guys really want to talk about this one. I love the head sculpt. Looks just like him. Um, there's it's a side by side picture that someone did. I mean, it literally. Is. I showed my friend from work who doesn't collect toys or anything. Uh huh. <laughs> and I was like, hey, what do you think about this? He's like, oh, that's cool. He's like, <laughs> are you just like, Show, me. Show me a picture of just this guy. And I was like, don't you notice like something weird about the picture? And he's like, no. His head's Because it's like there's nothing on the other side of the head on the on the half and half. Uh-huh. It's like him in, in the movie and then a picture of the head scope with like a wall behind it. Uh-huh. And I was like, the, the thing on the right, that's a toy. And he's like, holy shit. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, you can see the pores. Like, everything's really good about that skull. Really good. Yeah. I'm, I'm convinced they Hot Toys sold their soul to the devil. Because <laughs> that this is amazing work. It's probably their best work ever. Yeah, I have a very strict uh, rating scale for when I, when I judge uh, things. And I know it's been criticized for being too harsh in the past by some who shan't uh, rena- uh, you know, be unnamed. <laughs> oh, um, I don't know what you're talking about. But this... This figure for me is um, it. It's shrink ray. That's the best yeah. that I can give it. Uh, so it goes <laughs> shit, terrible, bad, okay, serviceable, decent, fantastic, amazing, and then shrink ray. This is shrink ray. Shrink, shrink ray. ray. This shrink is legit. Like they just took Michael B. Jordan. I think the last one that I was him. like, holy shit, I believe was either Neo or John Wick. Yeah. That I was like, they like had a picture of it in hand, and I was like. It looks like they have a small. Head I think. In their I think head. for me, the sculpt before this that was like that was the old man Han Solo from TFA. That sculpt is. Bo- yeah, like I get that for man. Hella. People are like, she looks like she's in your living room oh, right now. Oh, dude, she, that sculpt Hella, is really good. Perfect. Every time I'm in my collection room and I see it, I stop and I'm like, damn, that's good. Yeah, dude. She's damn, a babe good. too. Um, oh yeah, she has a booty. On the, booty. <laughs> on the, uh, on the your last podcast, the mic test. I know y'all were talking about painting african-american skin mm-hmm. so does oh, your that's wife true. approve yeah she likes it she really likes the it. skin color yeah she really liked it um i know there's another few uh companies that have made sculpts some people say they look better um i strongly disagree you know there's uh, i think it's like nut p-i-z-s and then there's a few other companies i mean they i agree like, with like the f- like the facial features i wish i got a little bit more yeah i think it, I, I would like it to, for it to have been more expressive, but for this, but this is like nine point eight, almost ten. Yeah, this is really good. Th- yeah, I, it's good enough that I didn't like the movie, but I'm like, shit, this figure looks fucking awesome. Like I'm, I'm tempted with that hundred dollar RP to to drop it on this figure. It looks amazing. It is lacking Fupa neck, but I'll take it. <laughs> so released this week, Tactical Batman. Um, I know Jesse, you have a lot to say about it. You're a huge Batman fan. Big time, big time. Batman. So what do you got to say about it? Um, I like the textures. I like everything about it. I think it's almost shrink ray, like you said, because the proportions are there. Straight out of the box, you can pose it. You don't have to make any adjustments except for the neck here and there, whatever. But I think I love it. I just didn't pre-order it because I there's a huge thing with like I don't know if you guys know anything about the Iron Studios. Um, the the makers that made the bat suit for BBS they didn't get credit, so they're not on. Yeah, just, that's why they changed the bat so suit. they changed the bat suit. So. I, I'm, I'm, I'm salty, and I don't like the neck on it. I think it looks like a scared cat. But the figure, if I'm just rating it as like a hot toy figure, oh, it's a perfect figure. Yeah. I, would, I would recommend it. Yeah. This uh, guy named Saudi on the uh, OSR page did a mod with it where he took the, the cowl. I think he took the face plate out and the eye plate or whatever he did, but you soak it in hot water, and then he put the neck over a, like a screwdriver uh, handle mm-hmm. and then put it in cold water to widen the to neck. Widen the neck. Oh, and okay. it looks like... Night and day. I have a yeah. buddy who I, I guess I need to see what you're talking. Yeah, about. I'll, I'll pull it up. It it looks. I think you shared pictures, no? Yeah, yeah it's on. The, yeah, it's I didn't on, know what I was didn't looking do their for. Oh, okay, okay. Chat. Yeah, um, no, 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 you no, sent it, but I didn't know. 
You didn't I keep going back and thinking about for. pre-ordering it just because I feel like, oh man, that's it's different enough from the other suits. I just can't get over that cow. I don't I don't like it. But I think that face is really good. The, the, yeah. I mean, it looks like he has like scrub, like real like yeah. scrubby or whatever. Yeah, because well, you have the Nightmare Batman. Oh, and oh Nightmare Batman. dude, that one looks so cool. It's going to be cool when you guys come over. You guys yeah, have dude. to come over and check it out. Let's do it. So, real quick. See, what? like that suffers from a bad photo. That's garbage. Yeah. That, that's bad. That looks What's like it a supposed to look like? Jack specific or whatever it is. Well, it's really narrow at first, and then you widen it and it looks it's, like It's that. really skinny. It doesn't give that thickness. Let me oh. pull up. I mean, like, you got to get the fupa neck. Affleck like, you know, is like, thick. Thick. I'm, He's a thick man. Thick uh, man. <laughs> the so, only DC figure and Batman figure I own is Iron Batman. Uh, armored Batman. Armored, yeah. <laughs> Iron Batman. <laughs> Iron Batman. Iron, that's Tony just Stark. like my favorite rendition of Batman ever. Awesome. Dude, I... I don't. I actually don't even like Batman. I think he's a fraud. <laughs> Dude, real quick, let me pick I'm your brain. To find. Oh, so I love that figure. Oh yeah. So oh, you can okay. see the thickness. It's it's way thicker. Is that your favorite oh, yeah. Batman ever? Uh yeah. I mean, I like. Dude, I, feel like I like Keaton, Keaton, though. But I also Keaton like. Is my guy. Dude. But I like that warehouse scene. I like I like the uh, the nightmare scene. So I I, I mean. Action wise, I think this is my Batman. My biggest Dude, problem Batman. with Batman in the Justice League movie is he's too funny. Batman is yeah. always the person that's really serious. Like, can everybody shut up and focus on what we need to do? And that's why I didn't buy that figure. And I in feel the like... Justice League, he's like the punchline in every scene. Exactly. And, and I was like, it's I like it. I don't hate it. Mm-hmm. Because I'm also not the biggest DC or Batman fan, like I just said. Mm -hmm. So I really didn't mind it. But as someone who doesn't really care that I noticed that, it was like, I was like, oh, no. Huge differences from from BBS versus It was like they were trying to do like a Tony Stark. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just didn't work. But I love that flick as well. I mean, we could talk about like, how I love that movie is for days. <laughs> yeah. I, it's the four-hour podcast coming soon. I actually, yeah. I actually really enjoyed Justice League, just... Throwing it out there. I, what was the Manny Cavill? Shirtless Cavill was nice. What was the scale <laughs> on the, the picks by Manny scale? I don't think I did one. If you I had to. Honestly, don't hate that movie. I'm going to say like 7 out of 10. It's oh. not bad. Okay, I'll give that. It's it was, not it bad. It was fun. Uh, again, Flash I don't was like, like DC. Saved that movie a yes, lot. Yes, dude. Flash was good. Flash saved that movie. Wonder Woman's I actually yes. loved <laughs> Aquaman. And like yeah, I'm fun. actually kind of excited for the new movie. Oh, yeah. I heard it's really good. I've heard it's really good. Wonder Woman was awesome, and then Gal Gadot's a babe, so I'll watch her. She's Bay AF, she's as they say. Mm-hmm. So, as for someone who didn't have like a horse in that race, I enjoyed that movie. Mm-hmm. I know this, this, we never talk about DC like ever. It's I'm like gonna Star be Wars speaking and about DC because I <laughs> well, and that's why I'm glad that yeah, DC's coming on the show because yeah. I, I don't care me. for it really at all. Right. Um, I saw Suicide Squad I know that was and I hated it and I thought the movie was over and then it was like another hour and I was like what the hell is going on Margot like, Robbie that's the only reason why yeah so the, there's there's gems just out of all yeah. shit there's like small gems yeah. like she she is a good gem I Wolf also Man, oh I also I didn't know. hate that movie I don't think Suicide it was Squad? like like yeah, it. I didn't I think mean, it was great. I didn't. I don't own it. I never went on my way to buy no, it. I don't own that. But I wasn't like walking on a theater. Like I can't believe I paid to see that. I was just like, okay, cool. It was a little mystical for me at the end. Yeah. yeah but other than that, it was. I didn't hate it. So TLJ Luke uh, has come out the oh, uh, the yeah. island version. Wow. Now this was due for October. It's obviously mid December now. Yeah. Um, I really like it. It's. You know, there's obviously the regular and the deluxe. Uh, the Porg looks awesome. The accessories look really the great. Porg is so cute. The accessories look really great. I thought it was kind of weird they gave Sorry. you a lit lightsaber, <laughs> but I guess they have to because people would complain if they didn't. Um, but it comes with a lightsaber? The lit... Uh, really? Uh, I didn't know ESB that. With, whatever. A, with an arm? No, like it has a blade, I'm sorry. It doesn't have a light. Oh, like a lit oh. up... I, oh. I guess, you know what I mean? Like the, the translucent blade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, What do you guys think about it? I mean, I think it looks pretty decent. If I was to get a sequel trilogy loop, that would be the loop. Because I don't like the crate look, and I don't like the white uh, TFA look. Yeah. Um, I love the accessories. It has the Emperor's Compass, the, uh, you know, all kinds of different crystals. It has the crystal, backpack, right? The backpack. The, the blue crystal. milk. The blue titty milk, yeah. The mm-hmm. Kyber crystal. Mm-hmm. Um, it looks great. Uh, I, I love that hood that it comes with. That like leather. It looks like what the shite so uh what is it the side show uh, mythos Ben should have been. Yeah. Like it has like all these cool the robes of cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um I wouldn't buy that if you 
if you gave me half the money for it. No. Yeah. I just... Piss yellow robes. I just... It looked like he peed himself. And Yeah, we're going to get into that figure next week. It's I, like, yeah. And it's funny that you brought that up because I was like, fuck, I kind of want to crate Luke. Which is insane for me to say because I hate, hate that movie. That it's a movie. good movie. But I was like, Wait, we'll never. You like that movie? I was uh-huh. like, we'll never get a proper Luke a Jedi. Jedi as an older, older mentor kind of like. Uh, yeah. In his prime, I guess. I guess Jedi Luke would be in his prime. But when we left, and the I was theater. like, I could take this figure as a base and do some cool stuff with it, and have like a proper like mm-hmm. older Luke. Um, and you're like, no, don't get that one, get this one. But I don't know, he looks like a hobo. Which yeah. essentially he is. Yeah, I mean, he literally is. So it's just sort of like, I don't like that disheveled, like, hermity look. Like, shit, Yoda didn't even look that bad. Like, he, <laughs> he was, was on a swamp. swamp. Yeah. yeah. Dude, so, um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure J.J. Abrams is going to do s- plenty of fan service. So I'm sure he's going to do something really cool with Luke. Yeah. Force Ghost Wise or That's, something. And it's gonna, you know, it's gonna give us the loop that we want. I have a bunch of sequel trilogy figures, one six, mm-hmm. Kylo, Phasma, Trooper, Ray, and Finn. I've boxed them. Like I don't even want to display them. Like how awful that movie is. Like they. And we're talking about is... Sydney, the guy that has figures in his bathroom. Like he literally does not want to display them. Yeah, and <laughs> I left that movie theater. Like every time we go to the movie theater, I take either my sister. Or my fiance, and we left the theater in silence. And usually, if a movie is great, you're talking about, oh my, we were just, we had nothing to say. Dude, I was the same way. I remember I left the theater thinking, like, oh, right, that was cool, that was cool. And by the time I got to my car, I was like, wait a minute. (laughs) What? That didn't make any sense. You were talking about saying, like, Oh, it'll be cool if Leia brought the ship there. I was like, ah, that would, you know what? <laughs> that Even that makes no sense in space. That would have been cooler than her. Fl- I was like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, man, this- and. <sighs> There's just a lot of. <laughs> I'm sorry, you like it, right? To me, to me, in like movie. I feel like if a movie needs like 50 million people on YouTube to make like three hour explanation videos, it just kind of missed the mark. Yeah, dude. They so there's so like all my friends like link me like, bro, this will change how you think of TLG. And it's like a three hour long video, and I'm like, literally nothing in this no. video is gonna change how. I and felt. you know what? And I will tell people this all the time that, like, say what you will about the Finn and Rose story arc. That accomplishes nothing. I don't it's remember pointless. It. <laughs> Or the fact that weaponizing hyper purple face. hair girl keeps secrets. Whatever. Like I, I can overlook a lot of shit in that movie, mm-hmm. but I will never forgive or forget Luke trying to kill his nephew over a dream he had. It's like the dude. Risked his life to save Darth Vader. Literally went the... to go commit suicide and said, oh, "Then I'll die here." Like, the... yeah, like fucking kill me if I'm not gonna kill my dad. Yeah, like there's good in him. I know it. And if and if he really chooses not to, then just kill me. That's the same guy who's gonna kill his nephew like to, for having nephew. a bad dream. It is the most out of character shit I've ever seen in my entire life Mm -hmm. and that's just one aspect of the movie (laughs) yeah not to mention that Ryan Johnson didn't write a single line of dialogue for Luke seeing C-3PO that is fucking bananas the the thing where Luke like winks at him when he walks out of crate that was improvised by Mark Hamill because Mark Hamill was like I believe it I read the stuff he had to take down because he was like this is not what my character would have done yeah Mark Hamill was like dude he would say something to 3PO Mark Hamill or Ryan Johnson was like "Eh, just whatever like there's so like this podcast will be two hours long if I talk about how shitty that movie is (laughs) but that one figure I kind of want because I think I can make it into something cool but this you can figure make it that your we're own, talking your own about, yeah, with oh the God. figure we're talking about right now, I don't want it. Cause it's, all, it's just I don't like. I it. didn't own anything. From a that figure movie. that's uh, really impressed Manny. Moving on <laughs> here, <laughs> it's already nine o'clock at night. Yeah. Uh, T'Chaka, Manny was really impressed. Ooh, by Ooh, that's yeah. a cool figure, dude, dude. Like I have a thing for black and gold. I think I said black. <laughs> <laughs> the way you round that, that one super up. progressive. I'm Love sorry. <laughs> No, I just—I I believe he's—he has gold eyes, right? Like gold reflective eyes. I think so. Yeah, think, yeah it's yeah. just clean. I think it looks the clean. necklace is gold. Yeah, it's just a oh, badass looking figure. This one figure you can cool. superpose, and you're not yeah. worried about anything. Yeah, because he has like those Kylo pants, right? Or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Tactical pants, Which or something. I, 
Because yeah. when, because you were like, ooh, chaka, to chaka, to chaka. I was like, whatever, just. No, I said I need to go caca. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, now, how much is this figure? Because he, I don't know, uh, what does he come with? Probably like two, two thirty, right? Two thirty, no less. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, we'll I mean, but I I watched a review on it and like he gets it into this like hunched pose mm-hmm. with oh, the how to be a poser up, and man. I was like. Damn, that is fucking it's pretty cool. The shawl is beautiful. It's like beautifully green, done. red, all that good stuff. It's really cool. I think I will settle for like the Marvel Legends one. It's two twenty. I don't. That's that, that's, that's a fucking. That's steal. not bad. That's it's a steal. You use some points on that. So Gold line. Is right. there a head sculpt with it? No. no, no. You don't want that crooked eye. Oh no, he had the crooked <laughs> eye when he was older, right? No, that's his uncle. No, no. that's yeah. his dad. That's his dad. No. His eye is so bad, dude. No. I'll have to look this up later. Yeah, oh, I, know, you I know what you're correct. talking about because you it's correct. super crooked. You're Dude, correct. in the movie, I was looking at his nose and his eye was just going. Yeah. And I was like, Argh. I thought you were talking about Forrest Whitaker. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, his eye too. His eye is just lazy. Yeah, that guy yeah. was looking at deception. What did you say? Eyes. 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 Oh man! Uh, <laughs> you come, the blue this powers away. The uh, <laughs> iron, pretty good. The Iron Spider. Uh, reviews are up. Ooh. Jesus Christ. I I we're going to spend a long time talking about this next week because uh, next week we're going to talk about uh, uh, an awards show. Are we getting thrown out? We no, 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 no. Oh, I'm okay. just saying, like, let, let's talk so about tune it. in for next week. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just giving shit. a preview okay. of next week. Okay. Dude, we're going to trash a bunch of shit. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, so I am really disappointed. I know people that got this, and I, I feel bad that they spent money to buy this. Yeah. And... <sighs> Man, that, I mean, literally, that's all I can say about it. I'm tough. smiling now at like, how happy I am to trash this figure. Because it's just... They can't, they, they're stay so, tuned for the two Stay hour. tuned. <laughs> As a huge Spider-Man fan, I think I'll pick this one up uh, when somebody has it for really cheap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think you it's one of those that you're going to find I super almost, cheap because it's so damaged. Yeah. I, I mean... I almost think they could have gotten away with... What's that one company that's doing the one six scale Iron Spider? That's the re-edit plastic. Yeah, I think that they oh, should have. Yes. I think they could have done an Iron yeah. Man style plastic suit. And, and then the thing is, people would still bitch. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, but at I, least as a you fan could of complaining, cool I love complaining. Yeah, even though I pick up figure just for fun. Complaining is one thing. Um, yeah, we're gonna definitely talk about that one next mm-hmm. week. Uh, new pre-orders went up. Gogeta and Broly from the Figure Arts line. I know Sydney's a big fan of those. Uh, really good pricing on those from the Dragon Ball Super movie. Oh, dude, yeah. Um, I think the thing that I'm most disappointed in is that I didn't realize Broly went up and it sold out on Big Bad Toy Store. Damn, did it really? The day you sent me the message, I checked and it was Damn, like, Damn, oh, I sold didn't realize out. that. Um, you could probably get it on the Amazon still. Let me know. Send me the link if you find yeah, it. Yeah, because uh, Amazon usually gets them when they come out. Yeah, uh, but those look really good. Um... I don't think there's any other six scale stuff that went up for pre order this week that I wanted to talk about. Um, but signature requirements. I know a lot of people, now that it's holiday season, obviously people are working more hours to cover toys. And, and additionally, um, people just want their shit faster and they don't want to go to a UPS store to pick it up. But I see a lot of people voiding signature requirements. And I really think it's a Ooh, really bad idea, sorry, especially if you don't yeah. have like a ring or some sort of protection. Right. Um, I've seen countless. Even if you have ring, you're not going to be there to stop someone. No, I know. But <laughs> at least you might have, yeah, yeah, might have some goes. recourse or some evidence if, if this oh, person's caught. Oh, that's true. But, um, and not only that, but it is somewhat of a deterrent. Like I've seen plenty of ring videos where people pull up and they're like, fuck, they got a ring. Turn back around. Um, but I see a lot of people that are uh, that are doing it. It's just like, guys, like this is the worst time to avoid signature requirements. Uh, I like UPS um, when I get my stuff. Are shit. you talking about people like buying six scale figures? Yeah, and they'll just avoid. That's this. a bad idea. I, it really is. I don't even do that on figures that I've spent like a hundred bucks on. Yeah, I've seen plenty of people that uh, have their figures stolen. And the thing is, once Sideshow ships it, like once it leaves their warehouse, they don't. Not that they don't care, but. It's not it's, on, out of their it's, hands. it's not on them to deal with it. And if you sign the signature waiver on UPS's website, you're also forfeiting any rights to the insurance money if it gets lost or stolen or damaged. Damn. And maybe not damaged, but if it gets lost, like if someone steals on your porch. So once you do that, I mean, sure you can get it and it's yours and maybe you're lucky, but if it if it gets stolen, you know, maybe you'll get lucky so and catch well. the person, but you're pretty much shit out of luck. You might want to try Gail's house first. Right, yeah. Gail's house in California. Fucking uh, Gail. So that would be my recommendation <laughs> is to sign up for my UPS, uh, have it sent to a UPS store. And if you do it early it enough in the shipping process, it usually doesn't change the arrival date. If you do it obviously the day before when they have it ready to go at the hub, then, then it usually takes another day. Unless they send it in stamps. 
Unless they send it in stamps. Yeah, what the Many hell rest in peace headphone users. Stamps. See that segue? <laughs> so Manny, that segue there? Manny sent a figure... Uh, <laughs> to Alabama. <laughs> to Alabama. In stamps. It was... A, what was it? Two figures? It was two figures. It was so heavy. It was two figures? <laughs> <laughs> I knew that it was going to... It was going to be so It was pro. two figures. You and what was it? Darth Maul, uh, Black Series, and Deadpool, Black Series. Oh, uh, Legend. Legend. Marvel Legends. Legends. So he he put two figures in a bubble <laughs> mailer and put one stamp on it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cody, Cody. Cody was like, I think it's stolen because it's been a long time. And it shows up one day, and he had to pay three fifty <laughs> to the mail person to get his figure. How did this, the, so the did post office even take it? Did they, like... I don't understand. <laughs> how it got so far. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cody. Um, I think it's probably more work for them to reroute it back. <laughs> they were just like, fuck it. What is <laughs> it? Just pay the stand. I was, ready, I was ready to give him a refund. I'm not like that. I'm not going to steal your money. So I was like, you know what? It's my fault. But he got <laughs> it. I wonder if he got, like, a, a paper in the mailbox or you something that says... three fifty. No, he said the mailman came to his house and was like, <laughs> "Dude, you got some mail, man! I can't this, bring I this to, to you, bro." <laughs> and he said that he had to go to his office and like dig through chains to find three fifty. <laughs> My bad, dude. That was so fun. That is I'm hilarious. never sending anything in stamps again. Like, I, I never even would have thought to use stamps. Well, because stamps. I send him, I send Dean a lot of love letters every month, <laughs> so I have a lot of stamps. Yeah. So I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, Sorry, dude. Speaking of, of holiday season and stuff that happens that isn't related to stamps, are you guys signed up with eBay Bucks? No. No, no what is that? So eBay Bucks is a program on eBay for U.S. addresses. I think it also works for England. Shout out to Sutton. Ooh, um, through a different program, but they do offer it in, in England. But basically you get 1% to 10% cash back on everything you buy on eBay. And the percentage varies. Like right now it's 1%, but like they'll do times where it's 5%, 10%. And, you know, if you're buying a $200 figure on eBay, that's 20 bucks. Once a quarter, you'll get a gift card from eBay in the amount that you've earned. So I think it's like early January, I'll get a gift card for $35 from eBay. And that's nice. cash money. You can use it on anything on eBay. Um, there's some purchases that don't qualify. Like if you're buying a car on eBay, like obviously if you're buying gift cards on eBay, but most like toys, which is like stuff that we buy, it all qualifies. And it's just a good way to make sure you get the, the best bang for your buck. I know a lot of people... Uh, say they'd rather buy on Sideshow because you get rewards. This and for me, this is rewards. just like a, another way to get some cash back. You're buying these expensive figures. That's fair. Um, How do you start? Now, do they expire? Sorry. They expire. I think it's... Um, I think they, they give you... I think the last reward I got like was a month. Oh, okay. So it was a good they give, and, and the way it works is it doesn't get added to your account. They give you like a coupon code and it's an individual code for that amount of rewards dollars it's oh. one time redeem hmm. and uh, you, you go in and at the checkout section you'll put in the code and it'll subtract your total and it's nice because you don't have to use it all in one purchase so I used it like on two different purchases last quarter and it just subtracts from that balance it's really easy like, I'm gonna look that up cause... and it's free all you have to do is on, on your desk you can't do it on the mobile you have to do it on desktop or I'm, laptop don't do it there right well, iPad. check out eBay bucks you can do it on my computer here and uh, once you sign in, you just click a button, and then it's always active. Now the thing is, the promotional, by eBay. Right? the promotional, uh, you know, when it goes up from one to like five or ten percent, the app will tell you activate this coupon now, and you activate it, and that's how you get the ten percent. So you have to actively manage it. You know, when you see the little thing pop up on your app, like, you know, when you go to the app, it says like, oh, uh, bikes are on sale this week, or buy this new laptop. Oh yeah. They'll oh, be the, or, you know, like the ten percent off on any item. Um, You'll do that. So even when you get those like eBay coupons for ten or fifteen percent off, you can also get the cash back. So it's it's pretty nice. Um, the the last thing that I wanted to talk about um, from Hot Toys specifically yes. is the. I know you're so excited about this. Not the about the price. Hot Toys Jedi Luke Deluxe, aka <laughs> the middle finger to all collectors of six scale. Hell yeah! I was just gonna say that. Like, didn't they just release one like before? Oh, right. They've released it. It was released back in June. It was pre-order back last June, and I think it came out this June. Because I got it on my birthday. Um, I think it's so fucked. I think it is. If they don't release an accessories pack, I'm going to be so goddamn pissed. It is yeah, so, so... Re- so they released Jedi Luke. Sideshow released Jedi Luke Deluxe, which was the Endor Luke and the Jedi Luke look in one package. So Hot Toys comes back, releases an Endor Luke, and then releases a Deluxe, which is everything. Minus the hood. What the, hood? the Jabba's cloak. Oh, minus the cloak. Which is, they still give you a lot, though. 
That's fine. I think it's interesting that they gave you the deep cuts, the the goggles, and the poncho from the same Yeah, form. from the to me, it's like, scene. That's really that's cool. cool, but it's like, I would have rather them just giving you the regular cloak that he actually wears. Yeah. But it's interesting. I mean, you know, it's a deep that's cut That's a nice thing. touch. It also comes with a blaster, which is interesting, because I don't think he had it on Endor. But no, but he doesn't have one ever. He takes it off like a morning guard. Yeah, then he has it for like three seconds. But um, I think the price is two eighty five. Um, kind of a hard sell. But it's but you two head also... sculpts and two hair sculpts. Exactly. But you can only show one at a time. True. If they give you a different body, then you have that, two figures. Like a DX. That would have been too kind. But I yeah. have. <laughs> I have a Jedi. But what do you guys think about the uh, ethics? If they don't release an accessories pack, because I mean, like they're releasing it for Hulkbuster and for Mark Fifty. I don't so see why they Hopefully, they do it. But yeah. if they don't, I mean, I think it's pretty screwed up. I don't think they will. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess it so. depends on how many people bought the Jedi Luke that they could like feasibly be like, well, if everybody bought this, that bought the Jedi Luke, they're just going just buy a new figure. Yeah, I don't know. I'm really salty about it. I mean, I would have loved the different hair options or different sculpt options. Yeah, the teeth look like terrible. Awesome with the hair. Exactly. The, the teeth look how really bad. How are the wind hair, right? Can you recreate it? Awful. They look awful. How do you do the thing? Oh, okay. <laughs> they look terrible. <laughs> uh, I just I just don't think teeth scale well. They're really well sculpted and well painted, but they just don't. I just don't think it looks like yeah. it all that much, but it's cool to have it. So you're going to buy it for sure? I know you rarely pre order, so that's why I'm asking. I don't know. Just because. I don't know. Well, the thing is, actually, the thing is, you have a second a Luke pretty figure. Decent, so you could take that second yeah. head and have either sell it or have two Lukes. Yeah. So it's that's not a bad idea. That's a pretty good idea. That's I don't have a bad Luke. idea. I don't have one either. You made um, fun of me last time. <laughs> yeah. So I, know, I mentioned it on my Mic Check podcast from uh, a few days ago. Um, but I wanted to hear from you three. So listen to episode uh, 14. Uh, New Mike who dis if you want to hear how I got started in collecting. But uh, we'll start with Sydney and we'll go around the table. How did you get started in six scale collecting? Six scale collecting. Ooh, I can't Ooh. wait to tell my story. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is juicy. Cheese me. I was there for that one. <laughs> um so uh it's kinda hard to I usually collect a lot of Boba Fett stuff. And I have almost anything Boba Fett you could think of. And now it's not even so much a part of, my, like, uh, 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 I used to have a shelf that was dedicated to just Boba Fett. Mm -hmm. Now I don't, just because there's so much going on in my collection. Uh -huh. But I was like, there's one thing I don't have, and it's a 12-inch scale, because back then I didn't know it was one six scale, mm -hmm. uh, Boba Fett. And I think it'd be really cool to get one. And I was looking at prices, and they seemed a little high. And I believe it was Memorial Day or... It was 4th of July, I think. 4th of July. 4th of July. Uh, a comic book store was having a sale, and I went in there, and he was like, it's X percent off everything. And I was like, ooh, what about that Boba Fett? He was like, yeah, that too. And uh, I would shout them out, but they don't exist anymore. Um... And so I got a one six scale uh, sideshow version to Boba Fett for mm -hmm. one hundred sixty bucks. Steal at the time. Nice. I think it's still a pretty good deal. For I think a so. Boba yeah, Fett, for a V two, yeah. For any six scale Boba Fett now, that's a pretty good deal. And I posted him up on the stash bin like, "Hey guys, I I didn't even want to spend any money today, and I ended up buying this because it's such a good deal. Go in there and check it out. You know, just give him a quick shout out." And uh, you commented, and you were like, oh, did they have any more? And I was like, they did. And that's actually our first conversation. Mm. And um, Many moons ago. Many moons ago. And then my buddy, Zach uh, Rayner, from last week's episode, he was a fan of my Boba Fett, so he bought yours. Which, and the reason he bought mine was I wanted to, at some point, upgrade to the... Yeah, the uh, sideshow version. Yeah. I, think it, I thought it looked better. And so I was like, well, I'll take you over there because he was going to catch a bus. And so I took him to your house and he bought it from you. And I saw your Vader. And I was like, damn, that's a cool Vader. What Vader was it? At the time? The sideshow Deluxe. Sideshow Deluxe. And uh, I was like, yeah, uh, my buddy Albert was going to sell me one. Uh, he wants 220 And you were like, that's actually a pretty good deal. 
uh-huh. you should you should take them up on it because at the time I was looking at uh, Daft Punk figures. Do you remember? Uh-huh. Yeah. And you're like, don't buy those. Get the Vader. Uh-huh. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I feel like this, the Daft Punk ones are going to go up in price. But if he takes 200 bucks, I'll get the Vader. Mm-hmm. So I shot him a message. I was like, hey, would you take 200 Actually, I didn't know Albert that well. Uh, it was because you told me that he was your buddy. Uh-huh. You're like, message him. He's a pretty what? good guy. And I was, <laughs> I was like, all right. So I messaged him. I was like, hey, uh, would you take 200 He's like, yeah. And so I met him the next day. I got Vader. And then I just got that taste in my in my mouth and I was like I need more six scale figures and that sounds very dirty yeah yeah right Manny how about you well Dean if you want to help me say this story <laughs> so I was keep, it, keep it rated PG-13 okay, okay so I'll say the nice version I was looking for a Kylo Ren because mm-hmm. he was pretty cool I mean I think I still think he's pretty cool yeah I think you were just looking in general at starting your one six scale collection. yeah that was gonna be you were like what's out there for sale I prefer this one figure. And then I got a message from somebody who said he had a Luke, and I didn't want a Luke. A Hoth Luke. So. The, the, the Sideshow exclusive. Yeah, so I remember, I, I, you picked me up, I think, and we went to go look yeah. at uh, Alien World. Yeah, I took you to all the places Pedro. I have six girl figures. Yeah, and I found one. And, I mean, I had this uh, Iron Man. Oh, I SDCC. Remember. Yeah. It was, I think it was a Mark 42, actually. It was like it was. 300 Shout bucks. to like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah that, I remember when you told me, um, I don't know that I was talking to you, but you were, I think you were telling me like, hey, this guy that I know is going to trade a pop for a hot toy. And I was like, okay, <laughs> who's trading a hot toy for a pop? Not only that, but who's doing it at a store? Because they're trying to obviously make some money. Yeah. And he showed me the pop and I was like, oh my God, I think it's worth Marissa, my fiance, she actually got it for me uh, off of Amazon for like twenty bucks, and it shot up to like three fifty. Jesus! And that's what I was able. That's to... That's the thing about pumps, though. Like you can get them if you're lucky for like really cheap. And yeah, there's been a few. That... It's hard to predict it, but some of them <sighs> and get I vaulted and they get... I hate pops, <laughs> but there are some that I will buy, and I've gotten pretty lucky where I some of the pops I have are like worth like fifty bucks. I'm like. That's not bad. I never would have guessed. We have a handful in our collection. Like, we like them, but then we're like, why why do we collect these? But then it's like, oh, look at that one's kind of (laughs) cute. Well, I hate them because I know that if I bought all the ones I was even remotely interested in, Uh I'd never stop buying them. So I, like, convince myself, like, these are stupid. You don't want them. (laughs) But there's, um, I only collect from Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Okay. And Parks and Rec. And then I only get uh, exclusive Star Wars ones. Oh man! Um, I had about 150 pops at one point. Jesus! That's and I was like, and dude, 49 too many, <laughs> dude. And it was like, I don't know. I think you walked into my room, yeah. dude. Like the collection was like leaning, and I was just one day. I just walked in and I was like, no. And I, I made like a whole bunch of deals, and now I have you like sold eight. All, I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you sold almost all of them. Yeah. Yeah. A very pretty decent time frame too. Yeah, um, I asked my fiance if she has, but it's uh, nice video of it. Like uh, going for the hunt and trying to find that one. It's you get so such fun, a euphoria, dude. like, oh my god, is it? And then there? When, when it's not there, it's like, ah, oh, let's go somewhere else. Oh, yeah, we yeah. went to like 15, well, it was Marvel Legends, but we went to like different 15 Walgreens just to find. Uh, we were doing the uh, the Thor Ragnarok wave to build oh, nice. a, the Hulk. She shut out my fiance. She wanted to shut build the, uh, the, uh, the fucking Hulk. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Awesome figure. The, uh, yeah, um, I've got that way with, uh, not anymore, but Star Wars Black Series. Mm-hmm. I'd pick up our buddy Zach um, at like 2 in the morning, and we'd start hitting all the Walmarts. I'd go all the way out to uh, like Universal City, and then mm-hmm. all the way to Seguin. Yeah. Not all the way to Seguin, but Seguin Road, there's Walmarts out there. Mm-hmm. And then all the way back to like Military and 410, and all the way back I mean, up. it's fun. It's fun, but it's, I don't know, it, yeah. I've been on a couple of those rides with you. It's yeah, pretty, yeah, yeah. Where it's, it's like we start at three I'm gonna and do finish one. at like six. Yeah, if you guys want to tag along, we're going to try to find the uh, the new Black Panther stuff. Because I want to build cool. M'Baku. I wish Hot Toys would make that guy. So much fun, that guy. M'Baku. M'Baku. Have you ever seen those like celebrities read tweets? Uh-uh. It was like... Umbaku could blow my back out. <laughs> he starts what? laughing, and then like I think uh, the guy who plays Bucky's like, yeah, no one ever tweets like that about me. <laughs> Dude, yeah, so, so I funny. have one. I have that challenge helmet uh, from Black Panther that I that I painted. I I need an Umbaku gorilla mask. Like that's the one to one scale stuff that I collect. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, but um, hey, what kind of one to one props do you have in your collection? We don't even. So some John Wick stuff, like John Wick coins. Ooh. I got um, the Thor Ragnarok helmet that Thor has. Tight. What else do I have? Uh, two cows from Batman. Mm-hmm. What else? Do I, I mean, I have tons like on the way. Dude, like, how do you get started with the whole Batman cosplaying? Like, do you Dude, make so it? So that own? goes into my into my one one six scale collecting thing because. I saw a picture. Um, I forget what the guy's name. Is. He's an he's an artist, and he has like you've probably seen these pictures on Instagram where he's like his whole room is just Batman, Batman everything. He had a Batman cowl with the accurate goggles from the nightmare scene, and then I saw a picture of that plus the one one to one. I mean one six scale nightmare Batman, and I was like, that's cool. I want to do that and just have that. Like that's all I need. And then so I <laughs> so I bought the cowl and I bought the accurate. Um, goggles from like the italian place the ones that they use at the movie and i had that little setup and then i bought the nightmare batman i was like i'm just gonna buy this one figure because these figures are pricey and i'm not it looks cool but i'm not gonna get into this, this is dumb yeah. and then ray came out like from force awakens i was like oh she's gonna come up i'm gonna buy this too and then i was like now okay now i'm hooked and now it's like i'm looking at uh whatever sideshow pops up and hot toys and i'm like Okay, what's next? Dude. Okay, I need another one. And then what's gonna end? So now my collection is I need something one to one scale to go with the figure. Wow. So it's expensive. Very. Super expensive. But I try to make a lot of the one to one scale things myself or get them okay. 3D printed, Do sanded. You go to like somewhere like the RPF and yes, buy R- how to scratch make it. And- yeah, so I'm a member, like a premium member at the RPF. Um, oh, wow. So a lot of the guys there, like uh, Adam's on there. So I'm, I'm sure you guys are aware of that. Yeah, yeah. Savage. Um, so the best dude yeah so that's pretty much where i like just i need to get a 3d printer so i think that's my next step after i get married nice <laughs> after i save up for the for the, the wedding when are you guys the wedding, married the gone like the 3d printer yeah yeah um Focus. we have we have it narrowed down to i think october 31st one of the october dates dude sweet we're and actually getting married um november 23rd oh nice all right yeah let's make sure not to do right. that date um so we just i think we're trying to look for venues now nice it's hard because like we keep trying to buy figures and then i don't <laughs> want to be a statue guy mm-hmm. and i was like who who's a who's statue guy like how do they afford it? and then now i'm like oh this uh prime one's batman's not i, I can't afford Dude, it. prime one makes such cool things they i want one just one my thing. my sister buys uh statues from berserk oh okay and uh she just actually got the I believe it's Prime One Maria from Bloodborne. She's like sitting in a chair. Yeah. It's such a beautiful statue. And I'm like, I kind of like statues. Statue? I didn't <laughs> want to be a statue guy. I don't, yeah. For, three, for like three hot toys, you can probably get one statue. We talked about that a few episodes ago where I, I like getting into statues, but they're like, you know, it's small, small. non moving figures, basically. That's not true. quite statues. But, like, shit like that, where I'm just like, that looks tempting. Like, my fiance does um, DC collectibles, and, like, you know, she has, like, that 1DK Batman. Um, and she's like, oh, it looks like you when you wear your cosplay and stuff like that. Um, so that's the statue she's into right now, where it's more affordable, 1-6 scale. I say affordable. There's still almost the price of Hot Toys, but eventually we're going to... We're gonna grown up. We're gonna get become grown ups and then buy the big boy stuff. There you go. Because um, I know the statue guys make fun of one six scale. Yeah, it's all okay. The time. We make fun of them all the time. Yeah. So but, how often are you cosplaying? Um. So I did it. This was my first time at Alamo City. I did Batman. Um. From oh, dude, maybe I, if I saw you. Oh yes. Maybe. Uh. I don't know. I was there for like just a Saturday, that and Cameron Conroy Saturday. just popped up. We were just taking pictures, and then Cameron Corey's like, I'm going to jump in with you guys. And I was like, oh, yeah. Uh, like this, no. Uh, $10, please. <laughs> right. uh, whatever you're charging. <laughs> uh, that was my first time I fell in love. Um, I need to work on some other cosplays, but that's going to be... I want to start, like, going to events and... Uh-huh. and can I wear a Batman costume? The, yeah, you can. The cool... You can, yeah, you probably fit in the With yeah. the, oh, with the awesome. cool mustache, I was like... Oh, I didn't even shave, I, and people loved it. Really? But yeah, I kept my hand on my... Yeah. Like, yeah, dude, yeah. Batman should rock a handlebar. Yeah, it makes sense for San Antonio. So there's a lot of like Hispanics here. They yeah. won't know who's who. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's Superman. Like, yeah. Wait, what? No, it's pretty cool because you can like. There's no wrong way to cosplay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unless you're like a Unless really you're really big guy. Unless you're five foot four wearing Vader suit, then yes, there's, a wrong <laughs> there's one guy on YouTube, and I feel I feel the struggle because I really want to cosplay as Vader, but I'm gonna buy you really big boots. Short. Yeah, that's um, So next week, uh, like we've pr- uh, teased a few times. We're going to do our first annual awards show. 
you know, I know we talked about winning an Oscar a few episodes ago. This is even higher than an Oscar. Yeah. Even this, higher than a this Grammy. This actually matters. Yeah, this, I mean, who cares anymore about the Oscars? Yeah, people aren't yeah. watching that anymore. I yeah. can't remember the last good movie that won. Yeah, they Oscar. got rid of Kevin Hart because of some racy tweets. Get out of here, Oscars. Mm-hmm. Kevin Hart, you're welcome to join. <laughs> yeah, come on, yeah, Kevin. Come, come on, uh, you uh, host, Collecting Weekly. Yeah, and, uh, you can host Collecting Weekly's yearly award show. So, uh, like we said, the the awards that really matter. So there's five awards that we're going to give out. And uh, the way we're going to do it is each of us is going to have our own winner for this award. So there's uh, obviously myself, Sydney, Manny, Jesse, and Rainer. So there'll be 25 uh, awards handed out, uh, much like the Oscars. <laughs> um, but we have five categories. Like I said, we have best overall company. And uh, that's a company that we think this year uh, obviously did the best. We have the most improved company from last year. And so there's a lot of companies this year that really I think up we the may game. all be in agreement. I, and that is insane. Uh, we're actually all in agreement on this one. Uh, I don't want to give any teasers just yet. I'll say it. We also have <laughs> our... Let's just spoil it now. <laughs> take guesses in the comments. We also have our sixth scale figure of the year. Uh, our one twelfth scale figure of the year. And, and the one twelfth scale is basically just anything roughly six inch scale. I know like NECA is like... You know, seven so, seven inch scale. I think Mezco is not technically six inch scale. Um, so anything that's like sort of below seven inch scale. scale yeah. And then our last, certainly not least, actually least category, the ah. award that you wouldn't want to win, last but least, is our biggest disappointment of the year, figure wise. Uh, so <laughs> that is our selection uh, of awards. Uh, we might have some small bits of news next week, but most of the show is going to be focused on this uh, this award ceremony. We'll reach out to Mr. Hart <laughs> to see if he'll yeah. join us. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, we'll start a Twitter campaign. Yeah, but yeah, tune in next week because we might be roasting the shit out of your favorite figure. Or <laughs> hyping it up. Yeah, or... yeah. No, I'm, I'm going to be trashing all the figures. So <laughs> I'm going to bring them all down. Jesse, are you going to join us next week? Yeah, absolutely. If you guys have me back, and this was so much fun. We'll review yeah. it. We'll, we'll talk. Yeah, we'll, just uh, well, our people I mean, will contact have, your people. Whose dick do I have to suck to come back on this fucking <laughs> podcast? Oh, no, 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 no. I let off all, all, all the cussing <laughs> in that last couple seconds. <laughs> Anyways, guys, why is it so warm under here, Dean? What are you doing? My name is Zach. Thanks for tuning into this week's episode of Collecting Weekly. We'll catch you guys next week to talk about the things that matter the most to us in collecting. Adios. Peace out, you guys. Peace. Bye.